Hey YouTube, it is Shainaje. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. In today's video, I will be showing you all the easiest way to transport your videos on your camera to your phone. There is a longer way if for some reason you guys cannot afford to buy this piece and you just have a camera. If you guys would like for me to post that in the near future or in the far future, whenever, just make sure that you comment down below and I will be sure to make a tutorial about that. But a disclaimer, it does take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot longer, very much longer. But if that's all you can work with, that's completely fine. Before we get started with today's video, make sure that you subscribe so you can see more helpful YouTube content on how to save your videos, how to edit your videos, how to make intros and thumbnails, which I already have those two up, how to make your intro and how to make your thumbnail, and if you're interested in blog and lifestyle content. Okay guys, so the first thing that you need is the camera adapter piece. You can find this on Amazon walmart or on best buy i personally got mine from amazon i think it may be the cheapest on amazon and also it's just very efficient you can get it very quickly but if you use walmart or best buy i'm sure you could get it just as quick if not quicker if you choose the option to go pick it up in the store then there are a few different kinds that you can get so i personally i have the iphone 15 plus so i have the usb-c adapter instead of the USB I think it's USB A so I no longer have that anymore the traditional iPhone adapter I have the USB C this is the same piece that you use for your computer if you have um, a MacBook or anything like that this is the same exact piece that you use so that is the one that I purchased off of Amazon they do have the one for the USB A and they also do have some on there it costs just a little bit more but you can get the combination of them too which i will be purchasing in the future but they have the combination of the usb a and the usb c and they also have a usb regular by itself that you can purchase on there go on amazon and search up camera adapter piece or camera transfer to iphone camera sd transfer to iphone whatever the case may be and the piece should pop up. So after you unbox it, you take it out of the packaging. The first thing that you're going to do is remove your SD card from your camera. So you're going to take your SD card out of your camera after you finish recording whatever you're recording. An unboxing, a tutorial. You're going to take it out after you finish recording and you're going to put it into the bottom part of the adapter. The bigger part at the bottom is what you're going to put it into the top part is a compartment for a smaller sd card like a phone sd card and you can do the same thing with that as well i'm not too familiar with how that works i'm hoping it's the same but for now we're just going to stick on the bottom piece so first you insert it and then after you insert it you're just going to insert the opposite end into your phone so after you insert it into your phone, you are going to go to your files, search up files on your iPhone. And after you search up files, it should automatically bring it up to you. So if for some reason you don't see it, I'm going to show you guys right here what it should look like. If you don't see it, what you should click on, it should say clips in your files. Nevertheless, you're always going to be able to find it in your files because these are this is how these type of things work. So after you see it in your files, what you're going to do is you're going to go through and find what video or what pictures you want to transfer from your camera. And after that, just save it like you were saving any other video. It's pretty much similar to the process when someone sends you a video on iMessage or something like that. You could just save it directly to your camera roll. And that's just basically what you're going to do. So I'm going to show you guys the clip that I will specifically be choosing today just to save it to my phone. So I'll show you guys. And then after that, you were pretty much all done. And you have your video or your picture saved to your phone. That's it. That's all you have to do. So again, if for some reason you are not able to purchase this piece, there is a longer version of how to do this without the piece with just your camera, your phone, and an app. And in that case, 
make sure that you comment down below if you guys would like to see that or if for some reason you lost your piece you don't know what to do you have to post a video so you need to find some other type of option just make sure that you comment down below because i will show you guys how to do that again make sure that you subscribe if you liked the content in this video make sure that you give a like and i hope to see you all next time